Hi everyone, thank you for joining me here today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Irene. In today's video, we're going to be doing a comparison of the Chanel Wallet on Chain and the Chanel Mini Rectangle. So these two beauties right here. If you're interested to see my thoughts and how they compare, then let's get straight into this video. To start us off, I'm going to show you guys a quick 360 view of both of the bags. So let's start with the Chanel Wallet on Chain first. As you can see, mine comes in the beautiful black grained caviar leather and gold hardware. And it looks like this on the side. It comes with a chain with the interwoven strap in there. It's got the Mona Lisa back pocket. The bottom looks like this. And again, the side, the top really doesn't have anything. It's just folded over leather. And of course, it's got that beautiful classic caviar, classic Chanel walk quilting. So that's what I'm trying to say here. Beautiful, beautiful. I bought this bag two months ago. I've been using it like insanely over the past few months. So I absolutely love this one. Moving on to the Chanel mini rectangle. I purchased this beauty about a year ago now. And look how puffy and shiny the leather is. So this one is in lambskin. As you can see, it's very poofy. It is very shiny. It's beautiful to the touch. And it's got the silver hardware with the CC turn lock. Opens like that. We have the side that looks like so. It has, again, the Mona Lisa back pocket. There are no feet at the bottom. And then the top has the two holes, the grommets, whatever you call it, where the chain comes through and feeds through. So that's what the two bags look like on the exterior. So let's take a quick look at the pricing of these two bags. Now in Canadian dollars, this wallet on chain is priced at 3,550 Canadian dollars, not including taxes. And the Chanel mini rectangle comes at 5,000 300 Canadian dollars, not including taxes. So depending on where you live, your taxes could be more or less, but yeah, definitely a huge price difference in between the two based on just the base price alone. There is a $1,750 difference between these two bags. Now, is this mini rectangle worth so much more than the classic walk? Let's take a look. So, in terms of dimension wise, if you take a look at um, the length of the bag, so the Chanel mini rectangle measures 20 centimeters across. So from this point to this other point versus the walk or the wallet on chain, this bag measures 19.2 centimeters going across. So really very minuscule difference. And if I were to actually put the smaller one in front and the larger one in the back and just try to compare, you really can't see much of a difference. There might be an ever so slightly overhang on the bed, on the edge right there, but really there's like no difference. In terms of height, there's again, not a huge difference. Now the Chanel mini rectangle is supposed to be measuring 12 centimeters in height. This guy is supposed to be measured 12.3 centimeters in height. To me, they're virtually the same. Maybe it's because the mini rectangle has the poofs on them. So they're extra poofy and they maybe make up for the somewhat shorter bag, but really it looks the same. And then the depth is where they really are different. And you can tell. So if you look at the difference between these two, the Chanel mini rectangle is measured at six centimeters in depth versus 3.5 centimeters for the Chanel uh, wallet on chain. So 3.5 centimeters here. There is definitely a huge difference between the two. That is where the main difference lies. But otherwise, the other two dimensions are virtually the same when you look at it in real life. So as you can see, they're very similar in their dimensions except for their width, which is quite a bit different. They both contain the Mona Lisa back pocket, as you can see right there. None of them have feet. They both contain the chain strap that is interwoven with that leather piece. So if I take them out, I just have them tucked in right now because it was easier to show you guys without the chains dangling. So let me take those out for you guys and we can take a look at the chains. The chains are both 
non-removable and technically non-adjustable. However, I have made a video about how you can adjust the Chanel um, straps. So if you're interested to watch how I do that and the different ways I can do that, um, I will leave that in the cards above me here. But let's take a look at the straps that this com these bags come with. So as I can said um, earlier, these bags come with very similar straps. They're both got the ch metal chain interwoven with the leather. But as you can see, this here with the silver is my mini rectangle. This here with the gold hardware is my Chanel Walleron chain. And you can tell that one is actually quite a bit thicker than the other. So this wallet on chain has a daintier, thinner strap than the mini rectangle. The mini rectangle strap is already quite thin. I think it's quite delicate. It's actually a really good width and size for the bag. But I find that this bag is all, this bag um, for the wallet on chain, the strap is actually almost like jewelry. It's beautiful. It's dainty. I love dainty jewelry. So I love them both. They're very similar, just a little bit wider on one than the other. Now let's take a little closer look at each of these bags individually. I can start off with the wallet on chain first. So this bag I purchased a couple months ago and I purchased this in the black caviar leather in the gold hardware. And if you open this up, it has a magnetic closure. It opens up to this quilting, which is actually a flat pocket. Behind that, you have a zipper pocket. Behind the zipper pocket, you have another flat pocket, and then you have the main compartment. And then on the back panel right here, you have six card slots. Right over here, you have the love letter compartment where I think people say that Coco Chanel kept her love letters. And if you reach your hand down, it goes all the way down. And my fingertip is right here at the bottom of where this uh, edge is, where it's sewn here. So this is great for travel if you are carrying your passport or some very important documents around with you or cash and you don't want to open up your bag and have everyone see that stuff in your bag every time you open it up for a lip gloss or a mint, then it's a great compartment to keep those things in. And so this bag here, it is leather on this flap right here, this pocket, but the back panel where the um, card slots are, that's some sort of material, some cloth material. So that is good because it does take away one area where you don't have to worry about things scratching it, but you still do have this one side right here that is leather lined. In terms of the strap, it feeds through this loop right here. Inside, I have a base shaper at the very bottom. It's kind of like a burgundy color to match the burgundy interior of this bag. Without this bag shaper, this base shaper, this bag actually folds like this. And I absolutely love the fact that it does this because it makes it very easy for you to pack this away, not worry about the leather getting damaged in this bag, and then you can use it easily for travel. And that's precisely what I did this past summer. I purchased this bag in preparation for a trip that I was going on, and I packed this on my, in like in my Speedy B25, which I used as my carry-on purse put this in its dust bag and I put this in my Speedy B25 as my carry-on. And it was great because I could fold it pretty flat and I didn't have to worry about this bag getting damaged. When I got to my destination, I just popped in my base shaper and I was ready to go and it holds everything that I needed for the day. Transitioned seamlessly from day to night and it was a great hands-free option if you're going sightseeing and things like that. So it was wonderful and I absolutely have no regrets buying this bag. I purchased this bag. If you watched my unboxing video, which again, I'll leave up in the cards above, I purchased this bag um, right the day before the price increase. So it increased by $500, I wanna say, um, the, the next day for the exact same product. So I'm very, very happy with this bag. I've had no issues with it and the corners and everything look absolutely pristine, like there's literally been no wear on it whatsoever. So I'm very happy with this. Moving on to my Chanel Mini, the rectangular version. I have mine in the beautiful lambskin and silver hardware. And when you open it, it does have that CC turn lock and it opens up 
to basically one large compartment. There is one small back zipper back there where I keep the authenticity card and one little flap right here. I don't know if you guys can tell because it's all black. So there's that flap and then the, the zipper pocket is right behind that, but everything else is literally one pocket. And the interior of this bag is leather lined, so it is lambskin as well. That is one thing that makes me a little bit um, weary of this bag is because when I put keys and things like that, things that might be slightly more abrasive, it makes me concerned that it could scratch up the interior of the bag. In this bag, I also do have a base shaper. You can't see it because it is black, so I'll try taking it out. I don't like this one as much to take it in and out because it tends to be a little bit sharper on the edges and this bag is lambskin, so it scratches easily. But if I take it out for you right now, you will see this is my base shaper it is thinner than the other one i purchased them from two different companies and i couldn't tell you where this one is from i know where my other one is from i'll leave it linked in the description bar below but this one i really don't remember where i purchased this one from but there's tons of places that sell base shapers for specific bags and their specific dimensions so just to have a google search and you'll find tons but yeah inside here there's really not a whole lot to it it's very simple just one big compartment essentially it's not even big it's one compartment so the reason why i actually have a base shaper in this mini rectangle even though it is quite wide to begin with not like the a wallet on chain where i needed to open it up the reason why is because this is lambskin and it is softer leather more delicate and I thought that having a base shaper would help it hold its shape better with things inside and it has helped it's been great so no regrets and again that is helping protect the base of the bag where it is leather lined so in case things scratch up against it it's not actually scratching the leather which is great but yeah this bag is very simple inside I love this bag this was my dream bag from Chanel um, it, I, I said to myself if I could just have one I want this one reason being is because I love mini bags I love the look of the classic Chanel flaps however I find that the very popular size which is the medium size the ML size it is very large on my body I don't like the size of it I would much rather go for a small or even the mini mini is very easy to carry around because it's got that long crossbody strap and I can wear it as a crossbody bag I can adjust the straps to um, make it a shoulder bag or whatever. So I love how versatile this bag is because it comes with a longer strap versus the other classic flaps. They come with shorter straps, generally speaking. And so I find that this is very easy to use. Now, do I use this one more than the wallet on chain? Well, in total, I've probably used this one just as much but I have to say in the past few months since I purchased my wallet on chain, I have been reaching for my wallet on chain much more. Maybe it's because of the season, I'm not entirely sure, but for sure one thing that I know is that this bag is more carefree for me to use. Even though this bag is six centimeters in depth and this one is three and a half centimeters in depth, I find that this bag carries everything that I need to go out on a daily basis when I'm going shopping, when I'm running errands, when I'm going out for dinner, whatever. This bag carries sufficient what I need and it's also very like carefree just because of the leather that it is in. This is in caviar leather and it is and it's gold hardware, which I've been wearing a lot of gold jewelry lately, like my earrings and my necklaces, they're all gold. I've kind of transitioned over from silver to gold. Um, so I have been loving this for that reason. So it's very carefree to use. This bag, I love to death, um, but the only thing is, in comparison to the wallet on chain, it is more delicate. And because it does stick out a little bit more from your body, I just find that I want to be extra careful with it and I want to baby it a little bit more. So that's the difference between the two that I mostly find when it comes to actually using them. This bag also doesn't come with a whole lot of organization inside. So you will need to bring like a card holder, like a slim card holder. You'll need to bring like a little catch-all bag, perhaps the mini pochette, um, like this guy right here, just because this bag doesn't have a zipper anywhere other than that tiny back zipper pocket in the back, but I really don't use that. I use that for the authenticity card. So when you close this up, what you will see is that there is a tiny gap right up the top here. You see that? You can see the light through there, the wall. So if you were to have like a lipstick or something small that can be easily fallen, like can easily slip through the crack here when you have this bag tipped to the side or something, 
you don't want to lose things so I would throw in a mini pochette or some sort of little pouch bag but that being said it takes up a lot of space in this bag so you think that this bag is larger in dimension than the wallet on chain however because it doesn't come with built-in card slots for your cards and it does have that kind of top here where it opens up you do need to bring in some of your own organizational items such as like a card holder a mini pouch things like that and with those items being put in this bag it takes up a lot of space and so even though the dimension is larger technically in size than the wallet on chain I find that you don't carry that much more in here versus the wallet on chain just saying I love them both but really this one doesn't carry much more so that's something to think about if you think that you oh you carry a little bit more and you think that this is a larger bag yes and no <laughs> it really just depends on what you want to carry inside and how you want to organize your items because if you want to organize it in a nice and neat way this guy is not offering that much more space now to answer the final question which one do I prefer I really can't tell you okay so how about we say this which one would I carry more on a daily basis this one absolutely hands down however which one's still like aesthetically my favorite this one so like it's hard to say but here's what I'm gonna say there are some pros and cons for both bags as with any bag but I'll tell you some of the pros and cons that I know about these two this guy here is a beautiful bag it's quite understated in comparison just because the CC logo is not quite so large it is better for travel purposes for packing away nice and conveniently it is hard wearing you don't have to worry worry about like the weather uh, raining snowing things like that so much it's just very carefree to use this bag here is great because it has that classic flap look without the classic flap price. We all know how insanely priced the classic flaps are now nowadays. So the, the fact that you get the look without having to pay that crazy price tag is a huge plus and bonus in itself. And as we know, classic flaps and those mini rectangles, mini squares, they're hot selling items. And I'm pretty sure they're seasonal too, if I'm not mistaken. I think I was told by my essay that when I bought my mini rectangle that the mini rectangles are considered a seasonal piece not like an all-time piece like the classic flaps are so it can be a little bit hard to find these ones especially in the exact color and hardware combo that you want but they're always going to be in demand these ones are always gonna be a classic they're a great um, intro piece to the brand if you wanted something that is a more of a starter price point I don't know who starts at 3,000 something as a starter price point but this is a starter price point item so if you are looking into getting a Chanel piece but you don't want like an SLG but you want like an actual thing that you can use as a bag this is great for that this is just something that I can't say no to I don't know I love them both and quite frankly you can't go wrong with either one I think it's just you got to think how often are you going to use one versus the other are you looking for a bag that you want to use from time to time on special occasions on nights out or are you using the bag for like everyday purposes running errands shopping anytime you want I mean I think that's really the ultimate deciding factor besides the price point so yeah another thing you want to think about is right now the Chanel mini rectangles they don't count in caviar leathers anymore they used to but they stopped doing that a few years back so even mine is in lambskin I didn't get the option to pick it in caviar another thing to think about the Chanel walks come out in a different um, in a variety of different styles in a variety of different hardwares and leather combos and colors so there's a lot of versatility in that too if you want to have something a little bit more fun a little bit more colorful um, to add some color to your wardrobe so yeah I don't know I love them both I couldn't tell you for sure which one I would prefer more than the other but yeah they're both absolutely beautiful pieces and I love them both to death I'm so happy and grateful that I have both of them in my collection I hope that you guys found this video helpful I know I wasn't able to come to a full conclusive decision on whether one is better than the other but really 
they're different bags they are priced differently they have different features to them so it really depends on personal preference I was able to tell you some of the pros and some of the cons of each of them so hopefully that will help make your decision a little bit easier if you're looking into getting one or the other um, but I honestly would recommend both <laughs> anyways I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you guys did please remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to join our little community here as always thank you guys so much for all of your support and thank you for spending your time watching this video today and i will see you guys in my next one bye